It's all about the grind. So, yeah, I've been rapping for six months. Oh, I should look the greatest. I want to be like one of the greatest. Don't never give up. Don't never listen to negativity. My dream was to be like in Vegas. See my name on some big ass deal. Like, you know. Kids, the you know, the, the father just went to jail. That, I can imagine that being pretty tough. Yeah, yeah, that shit was crazy. Deep up in these streets, I was hanging with some drug dealers. It was me and Drake Nisha, we had two slugs. I was thug, and I came for nothing. I hung with drug dealers. You can't take away my heart, it ain't no love. Let me tell you about the real I grew up south side Dallas, Texas. Park around, grew up in the hood, like slump. So I grew up real rough, it was real rough growing up. But I'm going to think about how I'm going to eat the next day, what I'm going to eat, you know. Yeah, that made me strong, like real strong, like that I can't be folded, I can never fold, I can never, nothing, you know. Coming from that, like, damn, I'm never going to make it out of this. I feel like it's no love after period. Dallas support Dallas. Dallas support who they want to support in Dallas. And, then, and as me being who I am and people knowing me and where I come from, um, they never want to see me make it. They never want to see me go to the next step. They never want to see me succeed. So basically, I'm just showing niggas and proving niggas, yeah, I can do this on my own. Yeah, I can get this feature on my own. I can get this video shoot by myself. Like, you know, it just, yeah. it, I, I just, I, this is, I, it's undescribable. Like, it's an undescribable feeling like I'm getting this much hate for it for my city. They don't want me to perform here because they hate me. Like, niggas know, like, my shit not what. Niggas know I'm popping. So, let me just put it like this. Rather niggas accept it or not, Asian Dog gonna put Dallas on a map. But niggas accept it or not, cause like, it ain't even no voice for Dallas, like none. Yeah. I'm gonna be there, so niggas be hating it. Niggas know. Nigga, call my line. I do not answer, get money on time. Smoking some dope, heads in the clouds. All of my letters, I'm making them proud. I am a dog, you know I'm better. When I get cold, yeah, that Gucci my sweater. Pushing the pedal, pussy getting wetter. Slipping and sliding, I show on the metal. I'm going on a tour, and since I'm scared, I have to take her with me for tour first. The name of the tour is Band in the USA. The hand. Band. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Hot Behind the Scenes. Today, we got somebody special straight from the D. Her name is Asian Doll. Put your hands together for Asian Doll. How did the collaboration for this little tour get popping? Um, I remixed her song, High Bitch. I had remixed it. Um, my manager had set the feature up. At first, I was like, no, nah, because I didn't see where everything was going. So um, I ended up doing a song. I don't want to kick it with a bitch for the hype. Real pretty, be the ass in the street fight. You know, I'm fighting any hoes like a pink kite. Bitch. And I just went there and I just freestyled and I just did it. And yo, everybody in the studio was just like hype. You know what I'm saying? So we built a relationship outside of music. So. It just came, it just all really all came together. And you know what I'm saying? I'm the queen of teens, and she's the youngest doing it, so why not? It just all made sense at the end of the day. You put out like these crazy just flows over everybody else, and it's just, you hit them back to back, and you got like millions of views. I'm not like a part time rap, I'm a full time rap. I do this every day. I'm with my team every day. And I really had to work, you know what I'm saying, for the whole position that I got now. And that's what, you know what I'm saying? It was easy. I was a very consistent artist, like, starting from being in the hood and just doing it and just putting, bit, like, low-quality videos, you know what I'm saying? He used to shoot my videos back when I was, like, like just beginning. We hit, like, 500,000. We didn't know what we was doing, but we still was in the same, you know what I'm saying, like, predicament. Like, we still broke. We still in the hood. So it wasn't really doing them, but I just kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it, and it worked, you know what I'm saying? Just like, you know what I'm saying, stepping out and just doing my thing. At first, I was kind of iffy but about it because when I when I was rapping in the city locally, like, I had support, but it was just like, I seen more, I had more hate than love. You know what I'm saying? So, when I just kept doing it, kept doing it, and I left, you know what I'm saying? I always say, I'm like, bro, when I come back to my city, I'm gonna sell this shit out, I'm gonna sell out this and that. And that's what I did. I just <laughs> sold out Dallas, Texas. Turn me up. Fuck around, I pull four. Bitches wanna beat me up the screens. When the game was broke, I came up so they hate on me. 
I'm a savage, walk around with a pretty fence Took my brother, had to get it on my own In the city, play my shit, they like my song I'm a savage, Barbie bad, touch the phone What does she think about this, this whole thing? She had these fuck, she called me all the time, she really excited Them going to my show for the first time when I just did Dallas she, nigga, it just was crazy. I had through a block party. I had brought bad baby to the hood and everything. But I just, it just like felt good. Like my whole city is on my back, like literally. Yeah. And, I, and I seen it with my own eyes. Despite the hate that I got at first and shit, like it just straight love. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's my city, you know what I'm saying? That's and nobody doing that shit like me. So I feel like everybody happy. My granny happy, my mama, Amy, brother. Everybody really happy for me. My natural personality is hyper. I'm like really hyper, I'm really fun. I love to laugh. Hey, it's the game, you know what I'm saying? You see us come, oh shit. Hey, bitch, you better hide your hoe. Yeah. I love to, you know what I'm saying? Turn up. I love to live like a rock star. Ride through New York, through New York, nigga. Niggas go and shoot New Jersey up. New Jersey up, nigga. Try to take my chain. No, I ain't going. Ducci is my brother. I love Ducci so much. Ducci is like me, but he's a boy. He is a rock star. Ducci is fun. He's real, like, turned up. You heard? If anybody fuck with me. <laughs> Boy, oh, this is what really got me. He's my hype man on stage. Every show that I do, Ducci's with me, you know what I'm saying? He's really like me, but he's like a boy version, you know what I'm saying? He's an artist as well. Um, Chose is, du Ducci and Chose are best friends, and I met chose through Javon, which is my manager. That's his little brother. Did we look like Motor Combat just then? If you create the way, bro, like that shit is way no easier than riding. Then ride somebody else's way, bro. Yeah. Cause niggas gon' say what they wanna say, but then they, niggas, you create your own way. Like you, but it's you, not hard to create your own way. It's not. It's not. Niggas just don't have to be there. Oh, oh. That's why them niggas lose and they mad at us. You know, we not riding the way. We creating it. Really mad when you're home. Life. Really? Everybody who hangs around me, like they're all different. Like we all are different. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got their own image. Everybody got their own sound. You know what I'm saying? And I want to say I love them so much because they support me so hard and so heavy. When they're artists themselves, they can be working on themselves. But you know what I'm saying? It's like a team thing. You know what I'm saying? I really wear what I want to, and I really express myself through my dressing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not afraid to. You know what I'm saying? To just you know what I'm saying? Be myself. And again, it's just authentic. I don't force it, I don't try too hard. It just all come together. Even if I just wear some sweats or anything, you know what I'm saying, it's, I'm always gonna stand out. And tour has been like one of the most funnest times of my life because I really can see all my fans, you know what I'm saying? I'm really like so happy that I can like, you know what I'm saying, see them and you know what I'm saying, just hug them and talk to them and just let them know, you know what I'm saying, that I'm here. <laughs> I, it too was crazy. Two was sold out shows. I feel like people really wanted to come because they they don't, they never seen it. Like she's she's young and I'm young and we're rocking these shows. So these kids are just free having fun. So I I remember like the feeling every time before I go on stage. I always thought about like how I was gonna get this shit my all.
But with the whole Gucci situation, like, it's clear I'm like 10, 17 now, first lady. I'm happy as fuck. I'm like <laughs> ecstatic. But I wouldn't, I really wouldn't want to be signed to nobody else but Gucci. And I made that very clear. And some people were just like, oh, she made a tweet and she was like, I just want to sign at 10, 17. Like, it wasn't even like that. Like, I always really kind of knew it, but I, I really worked my way and grind for this shit. It didn't just, you just can't make a tweet and Gucci say, oh, the 17, put it on your neck. You don't go like that. It's been a real bitch that rub your nuts in. 10, 17, yeah. shit, you heard? Hey, the winning team. Motherfucking future, period. You gotta be in you, and real, real people see through that. Real people recognize real. Hey, this how you put a female on. This how you fucking do it, period. This is my life now. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is what I signed up for. This is what I'm ready to do. I never thought that I would just be like who I am today. Yeah, see where I come from, y'all. Yeah. 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 Yeah.